I'm Lindsay and so sorry that we missed June favorites I got stuck in West Virginia I'm sure you've seen on the news they had a big crazy flood there well I just happened to be home visiting my parents when that happened so I didn't get back down here to Lindsay to film June favorites for you guys so we're just gonna combine June and July and share with you some things we've been loving the past couple of months exactly so, how about you kick it off I'm starting off okay perfect well let's start with a fabric that I've been sewing with a lot lately. So here in Charleston, as we have mentioned many, many times, it's very hot, it's very humid. So for me, sewing in the summer, it, my mind just immediately goes to light, airy, breathable, as, Not fitted. Na yeah, I don't as fitted. natural of a fabric substrate as I can get. And I have found that in Rayon Chalet. I just absolutely love this fabric so much. Um, it just, sews fairly easily. I mean, it's not like a quilting cotton or anything like that, but mm -hmm. it is easier than some of those other drapey or silkier fabrics and it wears even more beautifully. I feel like it is just, like I said, light, mm -hmm. airy, breathable. Like I made a maxi dress with it um, that has like a drapier, like elastic waist and the skirt is like very big and so it's just really nice even on a super hot day when you're just like don't want anything touching yeah. your body yeah, you like you want rain on shallow yeah. touching your body because it's so nice it is it's also my favorite to sew with too it was oh. like i think i mean it's it's the easiest drapiest fabric to sew with yeah um so that was my step up when yeah. i graduated from quilting cotton was yeah to start with one of those but they yeah do have a little bit of a learning curve but. yeah so this is one of abby's where this is beautiful where did you get this that's actually from like clearance off fabric.com nice i know i was gonna make pajamas with it but i don't know it might end up being a skirt i'm not sure yeah i found um you'll see in august we are part of the cali blogging the cali fabrics blogging team and for our first collaboration with them, we got a bunch of Rayon Shelly. So I think that they have a fantastic selection of Rayon Shelly. It's hard it's to find. super affordable. Really? Like almost all of theirs are $8.99. Very nice. Um, a yard, which is a great price. So you'll see a lot more about Rayon Shelly, but I have been sewing up a, a bunch. I've made that maxi dress. I made the Fifi mm -hmm. um, pajama set. Mm -hmm. And I also have So Caroline's Kimono printed. I was going to make that too. Yeah, that would be pretty out of this. I don't know if... It, Maybe there is enough because I was just actually looking to buy it and print it, and then I was like, I think the length I want to make was like free. So Caroline's kimono is free. I thought there was one that's not free. I was looking I, at the one that's not free. I think I got a free finish. one. I, <laughs> I got the free one. I was looking at it, but I don't. I didn't think I had enough yardage for one. Yeah, maybe. But I might have enough yardage of that one. Yeah. That would be really cute. Yeah, I'm adding fringe to mine. Yes, you have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I would do. Anyway, so oh. Rayon Shally, you've never tried it. Don't be afraid. Just take your time. We'll have lots of tips whenever we do the, the Cali Fabrics vlog too, so. Very cool. So, one of mine actually arrived while I was stuck in West Virginia. I was so bummed I couldn't <laughs> get it out of my mailbox. But um, I was looking for some Liberty Bias tape and I just went on Etsy and put it in the search box and I found it. Um, it's for all the way from Normandy, which is really oh, cool. cool. And um, it's surprisingly, surprisingly, affordable for Liberty. Mm -hmm. um, some of these were uh, less than two dollars a yard. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I picked out five different ones. The, the lady was also super nice and helpful. One of them she only had a couple yards of but I knew I wanted more of um, for a specific project that I'll share with you later. Um, but so I just messaged her and she said she'd be getting more in and um, if I waited just a week that she'd be able to get me the full yardage I needed. So I just picked a few different Five different yeah, so these are all one. half yard double fold. Does she do other? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was the only um, size she did, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you sent her a message and asked for something specific. She'd probably create a custom listing for you. Um, Maybe. I was trying to find a seam. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Because some of them I got, um, they're, they're so nice. I hate making bias steak. If know. I can buy it. And I really don't love the package stuff. It's so stupid. Oh, no. Love. Especially if you're sewing something like lawn or something lighter mm -hmm. than whatever that yeah, fabric I don't know. Why can't they make it out of something nice and soft? <laughs> it's terrible. I would pay more if they had another option. Yeah, I would too, anyway. for sure. Yeah. I don't anyway. see any seams. Maybe yeah. it's a seamless bias tape. That would be cool. I'm sure it's somewhere, but I'm sure she did a fabulous job. I'm very impressed. And the shipping, actually, I thought it was, 
when I added it all to my cart, I'm like, probably not going to check out because the shipping is going to be ridiculous once you know once you see it all add up. But it wasn't. It was like five bucks. It was like wow. really affordable. And actually, I just received the Lakeside, the Grain Line Lakeside um, pajamas. And I was thinking I was going to use this for this, but it calls for seven yards. So I actually think I'm going to purchase some more so I can get um, seven yards to do the, all the bias tape in that. Cute. Yeah. So I'll link her shop below so you guys can check it out in case you're interested in getting some for yourself. Yay. Okay. My next one, um, really I've been using this a lot probably because I've been sewing so much of the, the lighter weight um, fabrics like Rayon Shelley. And it is a rolled hem foot. So I have a brother machine. Um, mine did not come with a rolled hem foot. Um, so I purchased a set of them. I think I have a quarter yard, three eighths of the yard, yard, inch, I was gonna pick quarter you, inch, like, uh. three eighths of an inch, <laughs> half an inch, seven, maybe five eighths, seven eighths, and an inch. I don't know. Wow. There was a bunch of them. I have never attempted a one inch rolled hem. I don't even know what. I don't know you wouldn't use that for yeah. but for those really tight like uh, one of my the maxi dress that I talked about earlier has a flounce going diagonally across this way you know a flounce is like a circle mm -hmm. and so I just couldn't imagine folding that over half an inch and then yeah, tucking it in so really I thought fun. let me try with a rolled hem foot and it, to be honest I am not perfect at it there are definitely some parts where you're like eh, it didn't really catch but um it does make for a beautiful finished mm -hmm. look on the outside and once you get it going and you really take your time and put your machine on the slowest setting so you don't mm -hmm. rush yourself, you really can achieve really professional, beautiful, you know, finished yeah. hems on those silkier types of fabrics. I've always been too afraid to try it. I've heard it takes practice and I'm one of those people that's like, I just want to do Instant it now. Result. I remember the first time I got it to work, I was like, oh my God, oh my it's, God. Working. it's working, it's working. And I was like, literally, like my heart was racing, my palms were sweating. Like it was like a whole experience. Yeah. And cause I just didn't want to screw it up. And yeah. I just wanted it to continue to work right. the way that it was. But I think it's definitely one of those things with practice, you just learn how to feed the fabric into mm -hmm. it and you get it going. So one of those days when you just can't decide what you want to make, you just, Pull out some scraps and let your mind think about something else and yeah. then while you practice. Yeah. While you practice, exactly. So roll ten feet. I'm ninety nine percent sure I got these on Amazon, so I will link that down below for you guys. The set of them. Alright, so my next thing is what I'm wearing right now. I made the new Colfax dress by True Bias. Um, I've been impressed with everything True Bias has put out. I think I've sewn all of her patterns. Oh. I made Lots of Hudson pants. Mm -hmm. I made the Roscoe blouse. I made the Southport dress. Has there been any others? I don't know. You're way better at that than <laughs> I do. I don't have a library <laughs> just in my head like Abby does. Well, I look forward to when she puts out new patterns because I've loved her pattern so much. So I do try to really keep an eye on what she has coming out. But this is her latest, the Colfax dress. Um, I think actually she also did it for um, kids too. So you could do like a mini me version. But I love the dress. It is, um, has a yoke detail in the front, which you have a hard time seeing on my busy print, but I still think it looks really nice. And it's got mm -hmm. a nice slit. If you were looking at me a little closer, you could see it. Um, so I think it'd be really fun to pick a fabric where you could even emphasize the yoke. Mm -hmm. make it I really saw some out. contrast. Can't you do a contrast hem too? You can. Okay. There's two different versions. One, um, the one version is no pockets, um, all one fabric. And the other version is to do the contrast um, and to do a contrast hem and add the pockets. Well, I did all one fabric and added the pockets. Um, I don't inseam pockets. Yeah, inseam okay. pockets. I don't always put in pockets. If I'm doing like a drapey fabric, it mm -hmm. just, it's silly. Like you put your phone in there and it looks silly. But since this was a really stable fabric, I think it's like a cotton twill. I decided to add in the pockets and I've actually been using them a lot because in the summer, I don't even want my purse. It's like <laughs> too much. You get away from me. Um, no so. one's ever going to want to come to Charleston <laughs> ever after working It's hot. Weekend. I'm sorry. It's just July and August. July the rest August. of the year is really quite nice. Yes. So I've been using my pockets a lot. I, I throw my phone in there, my keys, and then I've got like a clutch wallet. So I, yeah, I'm good to go. So I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm already planning another one. I really like the fit. This I um, 
I sewed up a size two and went out to the four for my hips. I'll reference my specific measurements um, below so you can compare. It is, for some reason on me, it's a little snug under the arms, um, so I'll definitely fix that for the next one. But I've got a full review of it up on my blog, so I'll, I'll link that too so you guys can check that out. But I highly recommend this dress. It's perfect for summer. All of her patterns are perfect too. So. Yeah, I just sent Abby a picture, an inspiration picture from J. Crew when I was there yesterday. Yeah, has right. some, it must be twill, it, it, some kind of stable woven, mm -hmm. and they have the same placket detail. It's straight across the bottom instead of going to a point, and they put in these huge one inch grommets, six of them. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't tie a string or anything like that, but it just had the holes, and it is. I mean, yeah, identical to this. Is. Yeah. So I think so I want to hack the Colfax into um, a, an inspiration dress with that. Maybe add a chambray or some kind of, yeah, I think a, a, linen, a white but... twill, I think yes. would be really cute Ooh. with gold. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's what it's going to be. Okay, be, I got to yeah. go find some twill. I bet Style Maker <laughs> Fabrics, I wonder if she has white. She I know she has, has a ton white, of twill. And I saw white denim on there. She has the best twills. Yeah, and I'm sure if you mess with her, she'd. Let you know. Michelle, go <laughs> find me. Find it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, so yeah, I think that that's that's definitely what's gonna happen. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Your turn. That's your last one. No, no I got one more. more. Okay, so mine is my third one. Is this? This is our like not really not sewing yet. thing because as much as we are obsessed with sewing, we do actually have other interests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just the like little insert pack. There's actually a whole machine that comes with it, but it's called Tespo. You may have seen some of their ads on Facebook or Instagram. That's where I came across them. But basically, so their ads work on Instagram. Yeah, I, you got yes, sucked I, in. yes, I get sucked in a lot. Graphic tees, tees and sayings on them. I'm like, yes, I am in on that. Um, but it's basically this really slim machine, and you put in these little packs, and inside each of these little things is vitamins. So their whole thing is about getting your vitamins, getting what you need without having to get any of the stuff you don't need. And whenever you take vitamins in a pill form, obviously they add stuff to that to make it into a pill. Um, so you're ingesting a lot of usually unnatural things um, while you're taking your vitamins. Um, and all of their vitamins are also like blends or mm -hmm. mixes. I don't know how you would want to explain it, but it's not just like, you can't just go over there and get a calcium pack. Um, it's things like a women's blend. Mm -hmm. They have one for men. They have one just for sleep. So it has a lot of vitamins that are very soothing and calming and relaxing. They have one for energy, which I think they just reformulated that's going to have actual caffeine in it. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the energy inducing vitamins like B vitamins mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It'll also have a little bit of caffeine. So it'd be great for like before you go work out or for a sewing marathon. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's one for focus, which uh -huh. so if you have like some issues with, I mean, maybe you're not technically ADD, but you know, you can be kind of scatterbrained sometimes. There's all these different blends that you can get and they all come in their own individual pack. You put the pack in the machine, you put water in the back of the machine, you press a button and it dispenses a little bit of water and a little bit of the powder that's in here and mixes it all together for you and then you take it like a shot. It's like a little glass like this. Mm -hmm. So the women's formula tastes like orangey and it is a little, grainy <laughs> but i feel really good about taking my vitamins yeah. it's kind of fun to take them because yeah. it's like a whole experience with the machine i just love a gadget yeah. when i came in i saw it sitting on our counter i'm at Lindsay's place a lot so i noticed something new and she's like oh that's my vitamins she was all excited yeah. to show me and how it works yeah so all i've taken so far is the women's formula and i have the sleep one and the focus one on their way. So do you, would you pop that one out and pop yes. the other one in when you want to sleep one? Yes. I see. Yep. Exactly. And there's like within the machine, there's a way to store three of these things. So I'll have three of them and cool. they are all available to do like auto renew, like auto ship. So because the women's formula you take every day, every 30 days, they'll ship you another one. So you don't have to worry about remembering mm -hmm. to buy them. You don't have to go to the store. They just auto ship. The other ones, they will auto ship, but I didn't know how often. I don't think I'm going to take the sleep every night. Right, yeah. Only whenever I'm like, you know, particularly like, ah, frazzled or stressed. So I just got one of those with no auto ship. I think it's like $5 more if you don't sign up for mm -hmm. the auto ship. But anyways, I think they're doing a really good job. They're very invested in, um, 
doing the new formulas and things like that. So this could be like the next new way to take all of your vitamins. Sounds cool. Yeah, I'd be interested in trying. Okay. <laughs> not, you don't do citrus. I gotta taste oh, them all. Oh, that's right. That's, I gotta taste yeah. test them all for Abby. I she don't does not like do. orangey flavored stuff. And so when she poured her little vitamin shot when she showed me, and I yeah, I don't think I. Like We'd it. have to mix it with mix it. something. Else. Maybe put it in my smoothie or something. Mm -hmm. Or just hold my nose. <laughs> so I do it as a kid. My mom. The, the holding your nose decreases the taste. Oh. Yeah, so when I was little, my, I would hold my nose, take my medicine, and my mom would give me a chocolate chip because you know, so enjoyable, and it's supposed to be so fun. Because I'd still have fun. I mean, the button. <laughs> That's fun. I mean, the button. That's fun. There's a lot of pleasure in making it. And knowing it. that my vitamin was fresh and not full of mm -hmm. things it didn't need. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I'll link all this below. You have to buy the machine, obviously. I think it's like $129, but they're always running coupon codes. So I'll see if I can dig one of those up. And then these are like $30 a month, a dollar a day Yeah. for all the vitamins that you need. You need. And, yeah. um, they have like the, what exactly is in each of them too. So you can do all the research, test spoke, care about what's inside. I like that. That's like inside here and nice. also inside here. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. So, my last one, also completely unrelated to sewing, um, but right now one of the most important things to me in my life, I had a, I had a little bit of some skincare issues related to sun damage right now, so I am really, really being religious about applying my sunscreen. First thing in the morning, of course, you know you need it, but if you go, you put your sunscreen on in the morning and you go to work and then you get home at the end of the day, take your dog for a walk. Well, you're not protected anymore. Mm -hmm. The sunscreen has worn off. Really, you need to reapply every two hours. But how do you reapply sunscreen when you have makeup on your face? I mean, so anyways, I found the perfect problem solver for that. It is um, by Color Science. It's the Sun Forgettable Powder Sunscreen Brush. Cute. So cool. Um, so you just like you have to prime the brush and then you just swipe it all over your face It doesn't mess up any makeup you already have on your face It's not detectable on your face either so you don't see like powder on your face So they have a video where they show you how their mineral sunscreen will sit on top of water and it won't sink to the bottom or be absorbed and lots of other mineral sunscreen brands it just absorbs right into the water so you want that to be sitting on top of your face protecting yeah. your face not your face absorbing cool. um the sunscreen so this one is superior it, <laughs> in many ways it is pricey but to me it's worth it i mean not as expensive as skin cancer exactly um i've got a spot on my face for measuring to make sure i don't have skin cancer so i this is priceless to me um but I found the cheapest on their site. Um, they were running a, a deal. I'll see if they're still running it. Buy two, get one free. So it reduced the cost of each one significantly. You can stick it in your purse, have one in your makeup drawer, everywhere. So you can always be reapplying that as you need it. And even if you're not using it as reapplying, it's nice as you're just general sunscreen because it's not adding that extra layer of, mm -hmm. you know, moisture or oil if, if you don't need it. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend this. It is SPF 50. So all the protection that you need. Cool. Yes. Gosh, what will they think of next? I know. <laughs> Love it. Yes. So that is it for our June, July favorites. Um, it will have links to everything below in case you find something that you think you have to have um, that we've shown you. Make sure that you're subscribed to us so that you never miss an upload and give us a thumbs up. If you liked our video, you can find us on all the social media, um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, that's it, right? Pinterest. Pinterest. And we have a blog. We have a blog. That's no, right. It's new. The, the blog, blog is new. InsideTheHem.com. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.